What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu walkthrough. Okay, so as you can probably tell, yes, I have myself seven badges right there. Look at that. It has been a while since I've actually done that. And now it is finally time for us to go straight back to Pallet Town, all the way to Viridian City. And uh, what a better place than to just go surfing on Route 21. Normally, I would be going straight down to Route 21 all the way to Cinnabar Island, but it seems only proper that, you know, you go straight from Fuchsia City all the way to uh, Cinnabar Island, and you know, meeting the uh, Ice-type Pokemon along the way. So, what I'm going to do right now is, uh, well, I'm not really going to switch train any po Pokemon pretty soon here. I'm just going to, you know, I'm just going to battle everybody, talk about a few things, as always, because, you know, I guess... I guess it's good to talk just once in a while. So, here we go. We're going to be battling Homeboy right here. I don't know what his name is. Let's see what his name is. His name is Jerome Bettis. The bus. Ready to battle us with Slowbro. Look at that. And here we're coming out with, uh, yes, our good old buddy, Sparky. Now, well, we have been uh, we have been at this game for, like, what, the, lo the, the greater part of last month, right? Yeah, we started at the start of uh, September. It has been a huge success because a lot of you guys have loved this uh, this walkthrough right here. And honestly, this only confirms that my Pokemon Sword and Shield walkthrough, you know, the eventual walkthroughs that I will come out with it, uh, will be a success too because I'm actually using the video card, uh, capture card, just to get this whole thing done. And if you guys haven't caught my announcement a few days back, I did show you what type of a capture card to get if you want to actually record videos for yourself. Again, it's called the uh, Hop City HD 10180 or 1080 uh, video capture card. You can find it on Amazon. You can find it on eBay for a nice price, and uh, you can start capturing. You know, you can start doing video game playthroughs and all that stuff. Doesn't really doesn't necessarily mean you can do it on the Switch only. You can do it on PS2, 3, 4. Xbox, Xbox 360, you know, that kind of stuff. So, yeah. A good confirmation and all that stuff. I knew I bought this capture card for a very good reason, so... It's a great thing. It's a great, great thing. And here we have Kingler. One to look all mean and everything. Let's go with another Thunderbolt. Yeah! Getting this Thunderbolt just like that. Say goodbye to Kingler. Alrighty. Now... Like I said, uh, a few days ago, I have made the announcements onto my channel that uh, Pokemon Sun and Moon is a go. Meaning, yeah, we will be seeing a Pokemon Sun and Moon walkthrough uh, after Pokemon X is done. And as I'm recording this walkthrough right here, or this episode, I have done an extra 11 or 12 episodes of Pokemon X completing the whole Pokemon League and all that stuff. So the only thing that we need to finish up is the post-game stuff, which is, I guess, a looker event, and uh, trying to capture the legendary roaming Pokemon that's in there, and uh, Zygarde, I think. Yes. There's not a lot of stuff that you can... Not all stuff, a lot of stuff left to do in uh, Pokemon X, except for that. But, like I did mention before, I will be taking a small break uh, right after the whole Pokemon X thing is done, or... The, the first part of Pokemon X is done because I kind of want to focus on the other games that I have here such as Boraz, need to finish that up, and Pokemon Heart Gold, that way you guys can have a little more episodes on that stuff. And look at that, Machoke, looking buff and everything, gets his butt kicked. Now, I did put on my community page, right here on my channel, go, go vote. Go vote on my uh, on my channel on which game you want me to play, Pokemon Sun or Pokemon Moon. Two very good games. It doesn't really matter. I got both of them. Uh, the winner actually gets you know winner gets to be the walk the next walkthrough, and of course the ultra version will be the opposite of what you guys voted for. So there we go. I finally said it correctly. Holy crap! And look at that. We've got ourselves a water stone, and here we have I guess a fisherman who may or may not have a lot of Magikarp crud. Okay, so this is not him. But I know for a fact there's an individual here who has like about six Magikarps. Okay. Let's do this. Right here, and a Thunderbolt right here for the win. 
Okay, alrighty, look at that. Say goodbye to Tentacruel. I feel good about that one too. Tentacruel has been defeated. And we got more points. And he's going to be coming out with a Starmie, so let's continue on right here. Look at that, Starmie is looking uh, like mean, mean, gene, mean, mean, uh, green, or oh, Joe Green or something like that. But here we go, Thunderbolt. Say goodbye to Starmie. Look at that. No more Starmie, okay. And let's see, Leonardo grows a level 55, which is great. And you got burnt. You got burnt out of time right here. And, well, let's continue on right here. Now, let's see. A few episodes ago, you guys have heard the transaction come through. Yes, me actually getting a Pokemon, or me getting the wired capture card to do Pokemon Sun and Moon. It's in, uh, I believe, the episode where we're in the Silvco. The second part, I believe. But, yes, we got ourselves a capture card that will be able to record Sun and Moon. I'm really excited about it because I could do a whole lot more with this uh, this capture card than I have with my current capture card, which is wireless. Two benefits out of it, and I managed to get both of them, especially in English, so that's pretty cool. And uh, look at that. Oh, man, I'm just going to be thunderbolting everybody. Okay, so he's coming out with the gold duck, so I'm just going to... I'm gonna go with Dragonite right here because I haven't battled it in the last uh, in the last Pokemon battle. It also has Thunderbolt too. So let's go right ahead and uh, see what this guy got. Look at this. He's got a Gold Duck. Okay, so let's go Thunderbolting all the way. I'm pretty sure I could I could fly my uh, my Dragonite over the sea too. Could be wrong. Hold on. Let me just beat this guy, and we shall see. Okay, so he's coming out with a Tentacruel. Let's continue on. That's right, more Tentacruels. So let's go. Thunderbolt. And here we go. Thunderbolt does it. Oh, nearly does it. And yes, he is paralyzed. So now, we're just going to have to take this Bubble Beam right here. It's going to lower our speed, maybe. No, nope, not. Not entirely, so here we go, Thunderbolt for the win. Say goodbye to Tandacruel. Alrighty, alrighty. Okay, okay, look at that. And we got ourselves more experience points. Sparky grows low 64. And we get more Pokeballs while we're at it. So now, let's see, let's try that theory. Okay, so let's see. Pretty sure we can actually fly over the water. If we can, then. I don't know. Let's see. Take out the Pokeball. Okay, so let's see. No, we can't. Okay, so let's see. Let's see. How about... What about what about Leonardo? What if we take him out of the Pokeball and... Okay, so if we swim... Let's see. Now, he... Huh, I could have sworn that a Pokemon right here, you can actually swim. I think Leonardo's not one of them. I was thinking Gyarados, probably. Alright, so we're surfing right here. And, uh, yeah, there's quite a few trainers left. There's a Tentacle right there. There's two, three... God dang it. Alright, let's go ahead and battle this guy. The battles never end, guys. The battles never end. Okay, so here we go. Swimmer Spencer coming out. And here he comes with a seal. All right, Sparky, you got this. Akuna Matata right here. Let's go. Akuna Matata. Destroy him with Thunderbolts. And... What the hell? Oh, crud. Failed to see that. So here we go. Thunderbolts. For the win. There goes the seal. Alrighty, alrighty. Okay, so... Look at that. Getting experience points. And he's coming out with a Seedra. So let's go ahead and switch it out to Dragonite right here. Alrighty, alrighty. And, well, let's see what we got. Alrighty. That's Seedra looking all beastly and everything. So, again, Thunderbolt. Remember, Seedra is not a dragon type Pokemon here. Once it evolves, yes, it is. And look at that. We defeated him. Say goodbye to Seedra. Alrighty, okay. And look at that. Dragonite grows a level 59. Close to level 60. We're getting there. And Spencer has been defeated. Looking all boogery and all that stuff. 
Alright, so we got a whole bunch of these Pokemon just trying to attack us here. So let me just switch out my Pokemon right here. Let's see, let's move Pokemon right here. Let's go with Dragonite right now. Alright, let's go. He cannot swim because uh, he doesn't want to show his gut or anything, so... Let's go right ahead and take on Roughneck Martin, and he... he looks mean. He looks mean right there, just because he's big and bald and all that stuff, so... Here we go, Dragonite, ready to kick some butt. Let's see what happens if we use Outrage. Here we go, Outrage. Outrage does it. Look at that. Say goodbye to <laughs> Eradicate. Look at that, look at that. And of course, Smasher grows to level 56. And well, we're gonna just continue on right here. Let's continue on and well, he's coming out with an Onyx, so that's kind of a hard thing to do since it does have a... It is a Rock-type, but look at that. We defeat Onyx pretty easily. And look at that. Okay, so we become confused, which is okay. It's fine. It is fine because we just defeated this guy right here. Okay, alrighty. So, let's see. There is a Tentacruel wanting to battle us, but we're just going to swim away because... We don't want none of that. So let's go ahead and get onto this stone right here. And there is a coach trainer right here. Let's see what she has to say. Hey! Hey you, are you going to Cinnabar Island by any chance? Already been there? I'm bored. Is it okay if I coach you a bit? Kinda. My Pokemon are super serious. Will be super serious, I should say. Alrighty. So here we go, going up against coach trainer Pam. And she's coming out with her Machoke, so right now we are we are looking at a good disadvantage right here. Let's go. Let's go, Dragonite. So there was a good reason why I traded you from uh, my Pokemon Go. There we go. Wing Attack does its trick. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. Okay, so we got a little boost, and then, uh, let's see, coming out with a Jinx. Do not want to mess with that, so let's go right ahead and uh, go with the Sand Slash right here. Sand Slash will do it. Sand Slash can do it. Alrighty. Let's go. Sand Slash versus a Jinx. Alrighty. I got a move for you. Let's go with X Scissors. See if that actually works against this guy. And yes, it does. Holy crap. Look at that. Look at that. And Mew De Uno grows level 57. And, well, we're just going to continue going on with this one right here. Let's go. NXT Halloween Havoc? What the hell? I'm watching NXT right here too, guys. So I'm just like, you know, focusing on both things right here. So here we go. Ice Punch. And it nearly does it. But here comes a... Oh, wow. Dizzy Punch. And Crud. We are now confused. So now, let's see. Let's see. Let's go with a slash attack and see if we can actually beat this guy. So come on, come on, you can do this. Slash attack. Nearly does it. And, oh crud. All right, we gotta do this again. We gotta do this again, come on. Come on, come on. Slash attack, does it. Alrighty, so there goes Kangaskhan. And, well, there goes Pam. And let's see what she actually has to give us. I wanna see what you which you can give us. Pretty good, I have a little present. And don't we already have Ice Punch? That move is Ice Punch, good against, okay, so let's see. I, I gotta take a look at this, I really do. Uh, kinda feel like we already have Ice Punch. Yeah, that was kinda weird, Never mind. Screw it, let's go right ahead and battle some more trainers. Go up against this guy, and you know what? You know, or you know, or you want to know how if uh, the fish are biting? I don't know. Let's go. Challenged by Ronald, and he does have two Pokemon. Luckily for us, he does not have a whole bunch of Magikarp right here, so it's all good. And, well, let's go right ahead and go with a Thunderbolt right now. Let's get it. Thunderbolt does it. He does it. Say goodbye. Okay, alrighty. And let's see, where is it? Okay, Sand Slash grows to level 58. 
And here he comes out with a Gyarados, so I'm just going to continue right here. Now, I do have a Gyarados in stock. I think I could use him right here to swim, so... Right after this, I'm going to try and swim uh, swim with my Gyarados right here. So here we go. Thunderbolt for the win. And Thunderbolt does it. Look at that. Okay. And Ronald has been defeated. So we're doing good. We're doing really, really good. Okay, so the last part. Let's go right ahead and switch out Pokemon right here. So who doesn't need it? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Going into the Pokemon box, we're going to go into the next team right here, which is Hydra. So let's add to the party right here. Let's go straight for... You know what? Let's go with Dragonite for the time being. Alrighty. Now, if you do have a Dragonite or not a Gyarados, you can actually... Hold on just a sec. You can actually do this right here. Uh, take out the Pokeball. And you can ride with Hydra now. So look at this. Now we're on Hydra right here. Look at that. This is freaking awesome. Oh, battle this guy right here. Here we have an item, and we found ourselves a super potion. And let's go ahead and take on this guy. Chances are he might have six uh, magic carbs, probably. I don't know. Yes, he does. Good gravy. Yeah. Uh, crap. Okay, so... Yeah, what a good way to introduce Hydra here, than to battle six Magikarps. And, yeah, we do have Thunderbolt all the ways right here, so... Yeah. Oh my god. See, that's what really bugs me about those trainers, they only have Magikarps that just, you know... Come on, evolve them, bro. Evolve them. Alrighty, so... There's a Magikarp there again, and I'm just gonna continue on with a good old uh, Thunderbolt right here. Of course, Hydra is seeing his first little, uh, Thunderbolt right here. Of course, Hydra is seeing his first battle since, you know, my first run into this game. And look at that. Another Pokemon hits or bites the dust. Let's go ahead and continue on right here. So, is there anything else I need to talk about? Maybe. I don't know. Ladies and gentlemen, we are really, really close to 8,000 subscribers. Holy crap. I... I am excited mainly because of the fact that, you know, uh, back in March, I was saying the same thing, except 7,000 subscribers. And now, within one year, we managed to get at least 1,000 subscribers more. This is like the most I've ever gotten in since I first started this channel. And I'm very excited about it because, you know, that means that you guys are actually liking my channel. We have some likers, we have some dislikers, it is what it is, guys. We still get views. We still get views no matter what. Trust me, I know. And uh, and I'm just very, very thankful that you guys have helped me get to this this point right here. Of course, I'm still optimistic that we'll get 10,000 subscribers. 10,000 sub subscribers by the end of the, the year. Very optimistic. But if it doesn't happen, more than likely it might happen by next year. And that one will be big. So right now, let's just make my 10th year here on YouTube as good as possible. I know, 10 years taking me 8,000 subscribers. Most channel get 24,000 subscribers by the time they're at 5, but hey, you know, I started a little late. I started... I started a little, uh, a little green and all that stuff, so it's no biggie, guys. I've improved a lot since I first started here as Draven XE 711 and, you know, it shows. Many of you guys like my videos, and I'm very thankful again. And look at that. Oh my god. Okay, so... Oh, wow. Nearly got attacked by this guy. This guy's following us everywhere. We're gonna get the heck out of the way. And look at that, guys. Welcome back to Pallet Town. Okay, so... I think that's pretty much it for this episode right here, guys. Uh, let's see. In the next episode, we're gonna be finishing it out with, uh, with the Viridian City Gym. After which, you know, before we go into the Pokemon League, I will be trying to level up my Pokemon just a tad bit by capturing some more newer, uh, more, more Pokemon. And, uh, well, let's see. Yeah, hopefully they're at, an, uh, at a right level right here. But in the meantime, let's just stay right here. We're back home. Next episode, going back to Viridian City to get our last badge. So thank you guys again for watching. I will see you guys next time.